Parliamo del serial killer più famoso dopo Jack lo squartatore. A breve saranno cinque anni dal massacro. Credo che molta gente non veda l'ora di sentirti parlare dopo tutto questo tempo. Voglio sapere che cosa si prova a trovarsi davanti a così tanta malvagità. E cosa ti passa per la testa quando è così vicino da sentire il suo respiro. The first thing I, I would like to ask you is uh, about the, the, the journey of your character. Uh, what, what do you think uh, about her after uh, Terrifier 3? I was, I was very excited about it. I was very excited to dig my teeth into something a little bit more um, emotionally um, in depth. And I, I was really excited to discover what the aftermath would be after Terrifier 2. I was really excited to see where her mental state would be after all of that torment and torture And it's also five years later, so I had to discover what she's been doing in those five years and how she has maybe had um, a journey of her own mentally and physically and emotionally. Um, so I reached out to mental health facilities in New York. Um, I watched YouTube videos. I, I was really interested in her psyche um, at this time. And I was really excited with the final product. I was really proud with um, what we were able to achieve. And I think it came from a place of honesty. And um, I'm excited to see where she goes next. We can talk about uh, a terrible four after. Oh, well, I get, can we <laughs> say that spoiler? Um, I don't know. Um, if, if, okay, if this is non-spoiler territory, then uh, no. But if it is spoiler territory, if we say that it's a spoiler, then yes. <laughs> Would you think that we can consider Terrifier 3 maybe a new Christmas classic like Black Christmas or uh, when, when we talk about action movie like uh, Die Hard or uh, Little Weapon? Uh... I don't. I definitely think it has the potential to be that. And I would love it to be that because I'm, I'm not a huge Christmas fan, but I do love uh, horror Christmas movies um, because Halloween is my favorite time of year. I love scary movies. So I love when I love the juxtaposition of something horrific and something that's meant to be joyful and happy and, um, you know, stress free. And um So I do hope that it does become that. I think it has the potential to be that. I love Black Christmas. I love Krampus. Um, I've never seen Die Hard. Um, don't castrate me. But yes, I, I, think, I think it can be. And I hope that it does. I hope it's embraced. The, the last question. And after these three movies, can we consider Heart the Clown as one of the iconic uh, villains of uh, this genre after like uh, maybe... Michael Myers or uh, Friday, Friday the 1st, Jason? Well, I I think you're asking the wrong person because I'm, I'm maybe <laughs> going to be biased, but I thought Art the Clown was iconic before Terrifier 3. That was my opinion. I was very proud of Damien and I was very proud of Dave, but I do think that people are continuing to embrace him in that way. I, I see it written and um, I, I see people emphasizing that. So I think, I think yes, I, I, I've already thought that, but I think more people are thinking that too. So that's very exciting. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you so much. Awesome.